Many of you may have heard of TEMU, T-E-M-U, the uh, app that uh, a few, maybe a year ago, was the most, one of the most downloaded, if not the most downloaded app in the United States. Uh, but what you may not know about TMU is TMU is not simply an online marketplace. It is a uh, data theft business that uses the online marketplace as a means to an end. Um, we are filing suit against the holding company of TMU here uh, in Arkansas in Cleburne County, and that will be filed shortly. If it's not filed, we can get you date stamped copies. We are filing uh, this suit uh, for unjust enrichment, uh, also under ADTPA, which is the Arkansas Deceptive Trade Practices Act, and uh, the PIPA, which is the Personal Information Protection Act. So, TMU is, is interesting because they're not just getting consumer-related data. They are able to take whatever they want using spyware and malware on your app. So the average American thinks that they're looking at a shopping app like any other shopping app. But TMU is actually not only taking your data that relates to the sales, they are taking all sorts of data. They have a code written to avoid detection. This malware, this spyware is made to survive a lot of the um, uh, software that might rid your your computer, of it. It is purposefully designed, the code is pur purposefully designed to evade security review. The sensitive, personally identifiable information that they collect is accessible, they're collecting it from Arkansans, it's accessible by individuals and entities in China this is a company run by former Communist Party officials. And it's worth noting that TMU has targeted young people, children. And you may remember that there was a Super Bowl commercial that specifically used animation this year, 2024 and as well as additional advertisements that immediately followed uh, that game. So this is the sort of tactic that they're using. We are the first state to take this sort of action. I anticipate, I predict, there's gonna be, there will be many, many more. But we're not the first to take notice of these problems. In fact, in, in 2023, Apple suspended the Team U app from the Apple App Store for misrepresentations that they had made regarding the types of data that TMU can access or collect from users, including how it collects that data. And Google suspended not TMU, but TMU's predecessor from the Google App Store in 2023 because it contained malware. So, so just to sum up, we have a responsibility in this office, I have a responsibility to ensure that our Kansans data is protected. And that's what this is about. Um, and I, it's worth noting that experts who have looked at TMU and their data collection, how they're doing it and what they're doing, indicate that they, the, what they collect, they goes far beyond, far beyond normal consumer data, what is necessary for online shopping. Some examples of data that, that they are obtaining is biometric data, like your fingerprints, if they are on uh, an electronic device. 
and also your location, your specific location. You name it, they have access to it and are taking it. Your, your entire device uh, is, is open for their perusal. You are opening not your consumer behavior, not your browsing, scrolling behavior. You are opening your life to team you through the data that they can and are accessing. And look, I'll say something else too. In the last few years, I think there has been an awareness, an increased awareness by Arkansans, sure, uh, but nationally Americans about China, what China does, who China uh, is and is becoming as a country, uh, strategically what they're up to. I think that increased awareness is good. But I'm going to tell you that those of us who have been in the military or people in the foreign policy uh, establishment, people who have been paying attention to China, this is not new. This is not some, as my kids would say, issue that's on trend. This is something that's been going on for a long, long time. And people who uh, know about, have been following China's rise over the last few decades, have have known for a long, long time that they're not just a competitive, uh, they're not just a competitor economically, that they are, uh, uh, they're up to no good uh, militarily, they're up to no good uh, in terms of a hegemon in the East. And there are a number of, there are a number of ways they're doing this and data is part of that. This data Aspect. What does all that have to do with this? Everything. It's all part of a plan, uh, of a pattern, and data plays a really big role in that. And this won't be the first. Uh, it, it won't be. It's not the first time the data has raised eyebrows. It's the first time a state has filed suit. Uh, but uh, and it won't be the last. This is something that we've got to be aware of. We all love getting on our phones, shopping, the, the, the convenience, et cetera. But we have to know everybody who represents themselves through our electronic devices does not, are not our friends and they're not our local uh, businesses. Uh, and in fact, the brands that we trust can easily be confused with companies like Timu, and it's up to us, uh, particularly in my role, when I learn of this, to do something about it. We've been looking at this for quite some time, but today we're filing, we're filing suit.